that is a massive silver lining. So there's a big cost, but more than cost, it's the risk of making a bad mistake that's way down. Now, that's the silver lining. That's the biggest silver lining. First of all, let's start from since war started, how many programs for Ukrainian people worldwide, you know, country opens. And so in this regard, it's become much more easier to build real relationship. When I call real, it's not distance, you know, that's just when like our our couples before war, you know, they was like in especially America, you know, if they apply for K-1 visa and was waiting for when COVID happened up to like three years, you know, uh, two years, no, two, two years. Yeah. And this was like very challenging for couples, you know, to <laughs> to go through this time, you know, to wait uh, because of, you know, documents and all procedures. So now in this regard, it's become super easy, you know. So and because of that relationship uh, uh, start to become more in organic way where men do one maximum two trips to her if everything goes well they apply for visa and so next time uh, she comes to usa and that's where or canada you know that's where they continue with developing more you know relationship uh, organically not being under pressure like before you know having k1 visa and you have to marry within you know three months and all, all this time you know this man just from distance so it was you know tough decision and a lot of pressure and now you, you don't need to be in this pressure so it's it's much much better before you know, before COVID, it was about a two year wait to get the K-1 approved. During COVID, it went, it almost hit three years. You know, it was two plus, it was a huge list. I mean, guys were stuck. You know, imagine you're in love, uh, she's in Ukraine, you're working your job in America and you can only see her when you have the funds to go fly there. That's expensive. You gotta, every date, you know, in person, you gotta fly there, hotel it, etc. That's where the ka-ching, ka-ching, this uh, journey gets expensive. And the worst part is like the movie, the, the, the series 90 Day Fiance, it's all about this 90 days with the K-1 that you have only that 90 days when she arrives in America to get married or she's on a boat back to Ukraine, right? Now talk about pressure to get married. You got 90 days. I personally wouldn't want to go through that. Like I want more than 90 days to decide right? This is until death do us part. This is a covenant with the big guy, right? I take it rather seriously. But now the silver lining is there's no pressure. Yeah, you go there, you fly there once or twice, maybe. And then if you guys really click, as long as you're financially stable and you're able to take care of her, this is key. You know, she comes and lives in your city. You put her up in an apartment somewhere near you. Um, you know, that's going to last a however long, probably not too, too long. If you guys are getting on, right? A few months, whatever, probably depends, right? But anyways, you guys um, develop the relationship and you get married when you're both ready to get married the way it should be, right? That is a massive silver lining. Not to mention for uh, Australians, uh, Aussies, uh, it's $10,000 government application fee saved. You know, the fee, the K-1 fee and the lawyer to hire and all that's saved. So there's a big cost, but more than cost, it's the risk of making a bad mistake. That's way down now. That's the silver lining. That's the biggest silver lining. Because what's the cost of divorce? Half, <laughs> if you're lucky, right? The last client that applied to get his American, to get his um, lady to him, he was approved in five days and she was approved in two weeks. So that's how fast it can happen. Okay. And she's to him. Yeah. They're working on the relationship. Hey, guess who's with us? Hey, Corey. Corey's with us. This is him and his new wife. Yeah. And so Corey was just saying that it took him five weeks to get approved and she was approved in 48 hours. hours. Wow. Yeah. Here they are here. And so he's in the um, Louisiana. Yeah. And you're in touch with his wife, right, huh? Yeah. So I just want to say hi, Corey. Hi, you hi. guys. Yeah, thanks for joining in. Today, it's completely free for you to have a video date face-to-face -face with beautiful Eastern European women of all ages and walks of life. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's it. I'm all yours. So I, I brought flowers. 
Wow, it's so beautiful. With makeup or no makeup, hair up, hair down, you always look great. Thank you. You get to ask all your deepest burning questions. Okay, so we will see you live over at ukrainedating.tv.